34 minutes after 9 o'clock. You're tuned into the Morning Mix, and we are joined in the studio still by John, Man of Steel, Alexander, Run It, Chicken Dinner Young, and you got yours truly, Greg Moore, sitting in with you. And uh, we wanted to come back just again here for a few minutes to uh, just do a little bit of movie discussion. Because it's also 66 degrees. It's also 66 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's 934, currently 66 degrees. Well, that's that. thanks for clearing that up there. <laughs> now, John, if you know John, he is the, the storehouse of movie knowledge. Tell us what's coming out this weekend. Okay, John. this weekend it's it's called Prisoners. With uh, It's got a lot of people in it. It's got Hugh Jackman, uh, Jake Gillingahal. I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> Jake Gillingahal. Gillingahal. How do you pronounce his name? Gilligan, I think. He was trapped Jake, on that island. Gillingahal. Jake Brokeback Mountain Gillingahal. <laughs> Uh, is uh, and and Viola Davis, she's in the movie. Uh-huh. Maria Bello, Terrence Howard is in the movie as well. And you're you're skipping but, over like my favorite person in the movie. You haven't even mentioned Paul Dano. Yes, I really you're a big fan of him. I his? love him. I I started. I went crazy for him with uh, There Will Be Blood. Uh huh. Because I mean, look who he's acting with. That's true. He, he was he was able to share screen time. With those folks and still be able to... And yeah, yeah, there are times when all you're looking at is him. Yeah. Yeah, so... you Kind of like how all I'm looking at today is Ronette. Is that true? <laughs> is that pretty, correct? Yeah, kind of, much? kind of like that. Oh, so John, who... Uh, tell us about what Prisoners is Why about. did you just go sultry all of a sudden? <laughs> so John, tell John, us about the Prisoners. Tell us about the Prisoners. It's uh, it's about, a, uh, I guess, a, a couple of... A couple of she went sultry on me all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, it's about a couple of kids that get kidnapped, and uh, and uh, uh, Hugh Jackman is their father, and he's he's trying to find the kidnapper before it's too late. And he, he thinks that he Paul thinks Dano is he the one who kidnapped. He thinks Paul Dano is so the, he captures him and, and tortures him to, for information. And maybe he did it. Maybe, maybe he did he it. Maybe we, did. Don't, we maybe don't Hugh, really know. Maybe Hugh Jackman did it. You know what my bet is? Can we make bets before we go into the movie, Greg Moore? Okay. My bet is that Hugh Jackman did it. I don't think that's... I think he did it. It's going to be one of those uh, twists at the end. I bet you anything, Hugh Jackman did it. Hugh Jackman kidnapped his own kid. Yep. And then tortures somebody for information about where his kid is. You don't see it coming. I'm just saying it's uh, that's it's going to happen. You're thinking he like did this in some kind of blackout state or something. Right, right. Like Idaho. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, well, let's talk about movies that not coming out, but something we have already seen here recently. Ronette... What was the last thing you went to the theater to see that you really liked? Oh, I'm going to put her on the spot. Probably here. when we went to the see heat. Uh, The Heat, yeah. R- the, Ronette, heat, the Heat was pretty funny. Ronette and myself and Amy Stroud, the three of us, went to see The Heat. It was kind of like Three's Company, but we went to see The Heat. <laughs> And uh, uh, it was it was it was hilarious. That's one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. Ronette could not stop laughing. I couldn't shut her up. Well, what what made it so funny, Ronette? Why, why did you enjoy that movie so much? Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy. They, I'm telling you what, those two girls. They made me laugh the whole entire time. I mean, and. Is it one of those your face hurt from laughing by the time the movie was over type it deal? It was. And I told John prior to going in there, I said, there's no way. I said, they're going to run me out of here. <laughs> we had the best time. I had slight leave. bladder control problems. It was so funny. <laughs> That's how funny it was. Now, John and I last weekend, we went and saw Insidious 2. That's right. And, and I'm telling you what. Pound for pound, that's the that's about the best uh, horror movie you can watch right now. The story is incredible. Yeah, it's but, not it's not scary. Scary. I mean, it's got scary moments to it. But what's incredible is the story is so it's well, very well written. And the way they tied the timeline into the oh, first movie is ingenious. Yes, if anybody's seen uh, Back to the Future Part Two, it's very similar to that we won't ruin it but it's very similar to that same sort of time paradox type deal yeah what's happening in the second movie is right. affecting things that already happened in the first movie and you go oh that's what was really happening there and ronette can you define paradox uh, a paradox is when two doctors share the same office <laughs> a I paradox an, i need an app for that <laughs> I need maybe, you can, maybe maybe you can get the zipper app the zipper app. Back to the zipper app. Back to the zipper app. We, we never really left the zipper app. Uh, another movie that came out last weekend was The Family with Robert De Niro. Uh, he plays a uh, former mob boss who's in hiding. Uh, his He takes his family in hiding, uh, witness protection. Uh, they they keep him safe. It's uh, Robert De Niro and Michelle Pfeiffer, who, by the way, looks like Ronette today. 
Um, and Tommy Lee Jones is in the film as well. Yeah, that's one that uh, I have not seen. You know, I'm kind of on the fence on that one, whether I, I really want to see Our that Our good friend or... Sharon Johnson, who works for CBS up in uh, New York, up in Metropolis, uh, she saw the movie at, at uh, the big premiere they had, and she said it was wonderful. She said it was hilarious. Well, good. Yeah. Ronette, are there any movies coming out that you're like particularly looking forward to to seeing that are on deck to come out here? Well, nothing that I How about think. Oblivion? You said you like Sandra Bullock. How about that, that one where she's that. like all floating off into space? You know, that's going to be depressing. That will be. <laughs> I'll take you to see the, uh, if you'll go with me. I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm not asking you to go. No because pressure. If you say no right now here live on the air, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be very, it'll, it'll, it won't embarrass me. But uh, if you would like to go see the delivery man, I would take you to see the delivery man well, with Vince good. Vaughn. Okay. Where he's, where he's fathered all like, uh, like 750 kids. Have you seen that movie? The oh, trailer? he was a sperm donor, and then sure. I got you. Okay, yeah, and I didn't want to say sperm donor live on the air, but I think it, we can do that. It's your show. I think Whatever. we can do that. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, we can say sperm donor live. He on was the in air. the he was in the fluid distribution market. <laughs> oh goodness, guys, <laughs> that's for true. So you'll so you'll I'm dead so, so, I, I, I just went to now you, side now now even, the, the, you know it, it is it, talk it, like a pirate day. Arr! <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. Arr. Yeah, let's Yarr, he was a sperm donor. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing hoists me down, well. Roger. <laughs> like a movie about Vince oh, Vaughn. I just love you guys. I'm so glad. We got, we got to rein this in. Yeah, I, 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 this I got in. a feeling we're losing people. <laughs> yeah, we're... <laughs> We're, we're losing audience left and right. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for joining us in the studios today, both of you, John, and, of course, Ronette. Always a ray of sunshine to have in here with us. And uh, we're going to get you back to the music now. Thanks so much for being with us on The Morning Mix.